G'day beaks and beaks to be. Are you curious about learning more about beekeeping? I have been a beekeeper for over 55 years and rearing queen bees since the 1980s. When I met Alan through my local beekeeping club, I knew nothing about bees. Today we're checking honey stickies that we've extracted and uh, as you can see here uh, on the tag, uh, the second of the second was the last time that we checked them. We generally check them seven days apart. So we're going to open this one up now and check to see uh, what uh, wax moth or small hive beetle grub has uh, started to uh, rear or hatch in, in the uh, supers. Holy weaver, what have we got here? Look at the size of those greater wax moth grubs. They're just about ready to uh, go into a cocoon or some here. Look here, look on the side here. Just uh, point over to where they are uh, lying. So all look, these? All, all, all these long here are all cocoons where those large wax moth grubs and that will now develop into uh, moths. And uh, they're similar to uh, to worms that they don't, they don't, they're not a female and a and a separate male, they're both female and male, so they can start laying eggs again. So as you pull across this webbing here, you can see the number of, of wax moth grubs that have developed just over the last seven days. And the thing you've got to look out for is the fact that small hive beetle, uh, in terms of size, uh, the, the larvae of the small hive beetle are much smaller smaller than this and they are more of a um, more of a white yes these are these are darker yep, the, the, the wax, wax moth is, is a darker gray color whereas the, uh, the small hive beetle is more white and the small hive beetle get, leave more of a mess whereas these guys leave more of a more of the webbing as, you, the as webbing, you can't yeah. miss yeah so we'll have to go through all these frames and some look pretty similar This particular frame has got pollen and uh, and uh, honey that's been extracted in it. The three of these, boy, holy look at that. Just look, 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 look at the amount, amount, of, amount of webbing and the amount, amount of adult uh, wax moth grubs. Oh. Right in here, look, as you can see here, there's quite a few cocoons that will hatch into the adult moths very, very shortly if something wasn't done about it. The, the, re the reason why we, we do it out on the grass is because uh, the ants will kill all, all the wax moth grubs. If you look in the centre of the, of the picture and to the right you'll see uh, the ants getting stuck in, into, the, into the grubs. Right now see, see, see that hole there and the one above it, there's one there and there's one there. That's holes that have been bored through the timber by these greater wax moth grubs. All areas inside the supers have got to be checked for the cocoons and and uh, removed. And here's here's the number of uh, of cocoons that have been removed from the frames. The bees will repair any holes that the wax moth makes in in the frames of foundation or drawn comb, and will be replaced with drone comb. It's like bean picking. It doesn't matter how many times you look at the frames, you'll always find more more wax moth grubs. This one, this particular frame here, has had a lot of uh, uh, pollen in it, and uh, you can see how, how, the, how the frame has been destroyed. Uh, we'll the experiment with this particular one and mark it, and uh, see how, how the bees uh, repair it. Mm -hmm. 